and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm doing rebatch soap. My soap shaving bucket is full. I've got about two and a half pounds of shavings here and they just are so fun. All different kinds of soap. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So anyway, it's time to rebatch. So what I like to do is add milk powder. You could use any milk powder. I'm using coconut milk powder today, four tablespoons for about this size. Here's sodium lactate. I'm gonna do two ounces of sodium lactate, about four ounces of water, and put the lid on, crock pots on high, and let it start melting. So this first stir down has been about 15 minutes, and I'm just, the soap shavings are starting to sweat and melt just a little, and I wanted to get the milk powder and everything blended in really well. So I just check it about every 15 to 20 minutes as it's melting down. The whole thing takes probably an hour or less. Lid back on, here it is the last time. I'm gonna add a little color in here cause I don't like that sort of beigey, grayish color. And my new uh, mica from Rustic Essentials is gorgeous. So we're just gonna try to make this look as pretty as possible. I like to leave little speckles in my rebatch soap so it kind of looks like a confetti bar. I don't melt it down all the way, although you definitely could if you wanna just keep melting till it's all entirely, but I like the little flecks in there. So I think the color's pretty here. I'm happy with it and it's nice and hot. And so you've got to move quickly to get it in the mold while it's still really warm. And that's how you can, uh, you know, it dries really quickly and gets crumbly if you don't move fast. So it's a little bit of a, not stressful, but you got to move while it's warm. So get it in the mold. I'm using a tall, skinny silicone mold here that I also got from Rustic Essentials. They had a great sale going on and I grabbed it and so anyway, this is gonna have a very rustic top, uh, kind of like a hot process soap, but that's just part and parcel of rebatch, you know. I think it's a great way to recycle your soap shavings though, so I love it. Get it all in the mold here, and then I'm gonna pop this mold in the refrigerator. You can leave it out at room temperature overnight, but I like to throw it in there to cool it down real fast. I'm gonna tamp this down on the ground, try to get any air pockets out, and here we are the next day, ready to unmold. Comes out so easy. And again, it's a little bit rustic, but I think it's cute. And again, fantastic soap. All those different soaps I make, goat milk, aloe vera, coconut milk soaps, they're all in there. And there's the little flecks that I like, kind of a confetti look. I think these are really cute. And this is pretty much what uh, I use at my house um, because I don't market rebatch soap because there's too many, too many different ingredients in there for people that have allergies. These would be really hard to sell. So this is for friends and family and I love it. I love to recycle. Here I am making soap shavings out of my soap shaving soap, which always cracks me up. And I stamp them just because it's fun. I can't resist. I love to stamp soap. So there's the logo stamp. And then I have this little... Um, stamp that I got on, I think, Amazon a long, long time ago. If I can find a link for one, I will put it down below. You can find different soap stamps online, but this one's really old. I think it's just really cute, handmade. Love to stamp my soaps. So there it is. This is Rebatch, and um, it just kind of is what it is, but I love to recycle. I don't like to waste anything. When you put all the good stuff in your soaps, I don't want a single bit to go to waste, and I think this is a terrific way to recycle all those soap shavings. give this rebatch bar a lather test here. One of the things I love about rebatch, and I think it comes from the extra milk powders, it has such a beautiful, fluffy, creamy lather. It's just wonderful. They're fantastic. So thanks for joining me today, and I hope that you have a really wonderful day.